What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today, we'll be going over how to fix that dreaded gamma shift that you get when you export your videos in DaVinci Resolve. I know I'm not the only one who hates when you have such a beautiful image in Resolve, then you export it, and then your video turns to crap because everything is faded, the colors are inaccurate, and it makes you feel like that all the time you put into that image was for nothing. So let's hop into Resolve and I'll show you how to fix that. Okay guys, so we're in DaVinci Resolve right now, and the first thing I'm about to do is just throw a LUT on here. I already edited this clip before, so we're not gonna go through editing it. This is gonna save us a lot of time to be honest. So here we go right here, and that is our clip. So we're gonna go over to Deliver, now I have all this set up already. The name of it is going to be X, for example. We're going to export it in 4K. There we go. Restrict is going to be to 80,000. Sorry. And then down here, we're going to make sure our color space tag is Rec 709 and our gamut tag is Rec 709A. And this is primarily for Mac users. So we're just going to hit Add to Render. We're just going to let it render. Okay guys, so here's our finished product. And as you can see, that it looks exactly the same. Nothing is faded, nothing is darker, nothing is whiter. Our image looks exactly the same. And like I said, this process I just showed you is primarily for Mac users. But there is another way to do this as well. And I'll go ahead and show you that right now. But first we're gonna close this. We're gonna go back in color. We're gonna reset the node because what we're about to do now is we're about to go to DaVinci Color Management. We're gonna leave this here and we're gonna leave this here as well. Then we're gonna hit save and then we're gonna reapply that look. And that look amazing as well, honestly. I do like it to look a little darker, but we're gonna go back over here to delivery. And what we're gonna do now, our settings is gonna remain the same. And the only thing that we need to change is actually put this back as same as project. But we're gonna leave color space tag as Rec 709. Then we're gonna name this X2. And then we're gonna go ahead, add that to render, and then we're gonna go ahead and render it. Okay guys, so here's our finished product for example two. And as you can see, again, this image look amazing. Nothing is faded. The colors are exactly the same and everything worked out to exactly how we want it. Now, my monitor is color calibrated. And since I only did this in Rec 709 2.4, the colors may look a little different on the iPhone, but I'll be okay with that because I know the colors came out exactly how I wanted them while I'm looking at my monitor right now. Okay, everyone, thank you for checking out this video. Thank you to everybody who stuck around. And I know I wasn't the only one who really suffered with gamma shifts when I would export into DaVinci Resolve. And I used to get so frustrated when I didn't get it right, or I thought I didn't get it right. But before you guys go, what I want you to do is smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. I hope you have a good day. Peace.